Today we're going to be talking about vehicle lighting, specifically on my 2016 Toyota Tacoma. Hopefully this background isn't too bright or annoying or anything. I'm talking about my truck and the light upgrades I did to it, so I figured it would be an appropriate backdrop to put my truck and its lights back there. And I have this bright light in front of me to try to even things out, so we'll see how it goes. So I've been driving around with my light upgrades now for uh, a couple weeks, few weeks, maybe a month or so actually. I was gonna do this video right after I installed them, but I said maybe it would be better to wait a while so I could give actual appropriate feedback, see if anyone flashes me, see how they work in different uh, environments and stuff like that. So uh, I figured now's the time to do the video. People ask me all the time on YouTube, Instagram, whatever, for new videos of my truck, what I've been doing to it, that kind of stuff. So here it is. This continues the Essential Truck Gear series with episode whatever, where I'm going to be talking about my lighting upgrades that I've done to my truck. Now I'm just starting off with the basics here, and I have upgraded my headlights to LEDs, and I have changed out my fogs to some Baja Design pods. So I'm gonna be talking about those, why I chose these upgrades, and how I feel about them. So I'm gonna talk about first, I just upgraded my headlights, just the bulbs in them. So I have the TRD, well I have like the premium technology package and my truck still didn't come with LED headlights, it came with LED daytime running lights, but it just came with the standard headlights that are like, you know, 2700K uh, color temperature and I don't like that. So I upgraded to, these are 6000K, so they're kind of daylight balanced. Daylight balance is between five and 6,000 K. What that means is the temperature, the color temperature of the sun at around noon is around 5,500 K. That's what our eyes see best at. So I try to upgrade all my lighting in my house everywhere to be daylight balanced because I prefer that. So headlights, no difference for me. And I wanted to upgrade the brightness as well, the lumens, the output, whatever. Because I'm driving on a lot of backcountry roads, I live in the mountains, I, I drive on windy roads that aren't illuminated, and there's deer jumping across the street, elk, mountain lion, bear, foxes, all that stuff. So I don't wanna hit that, I don't wanna kill those, I don't wanna damage my car, so headlights are a little more important to me than most people, I would say, probably, but I, I, think, I think headlights are pretty important to everyone. So people upgrade their headlights for a couple of reasons, for aesthetics, you see people driving on the road and if they have LED headlights, they're cooler or whatever, but I, I really cared about performance. So for me, upgrading my lighting, uh, I, I wanted to first start with the ones that were most important, the ones that I would use the most often, rather than throwing on a bunch of off-road lights that I would you know, use one weekend a month or something. So these I'm using every day. So they're, they're a valuable, worthwhile upgrade for me and probably for you. So I got the Flux Beam LED headlight kit by Opt7. Uh, these I just got on Amazon. I had them in my wish list for a while. They got pretty good reviews, tons of reviews, and everyone said they were really good. So it's very easy to install them on the Tacoma. Just the original bulbs, quarter turn, pull out, pull the plug out of them. These come with a wiring harness. So it just plugs right into the original adapter quarter turn the bulb in, good to go, it takes a couple of minutes, and you have instant results, you have brighter light, you have a more pleasing, to me anyway, color temperature, and you just have a little more illumination on the road uh, entirely. So that's a really worthwhile upgrade for me, personally, and I've been, I've been driving with them now for, I don't know, I think about a month, and in my regular headlight mode, not my high beam mode, I haven't been flashed once actually. Uh, you know, you can adjust your headlights up and down. I didn't need to make any adjustment. The cutoff is pretty nice and clean. So I just literally just plugged them in, was good to go uh, a couple minutes of my time and I had, had better up, upgraded headlights. So I also upgraded my high beams to the, the same bulb. Obviously bulb types are gonna be different so you're gonna wanna look that up for your car. I'll link to these in the video description below like I always do. But I upgraded my headlights as well as my high beams. Now. Normally for most cars, your headlight bulbs and your high beam bulbs are two different bulbs. And when you turn on your headlights, usually they'll both be on. Your regular bulbs and your high beams will, will be on as well. So if you just upgrade your headlights, your regular standard headlights, and then you flip on your high beams, if you haven't also upgraded your high beams, then chances are there'll probably be the older bulbs, which are the 2700K color temperature. So you'll have like the cooler and then the warmer high beams and it's kind of weird, not a big deal, but I didn't like that. Uh, and like I said, I, I use both of mine quite a bit. So I upgraded both of my lights. They are great, you see them, see them in the background there, and I've probably been showing clips of driving and all that stuff uh, in the background of this video as we, as we move along. 
All right, so the other upgrade I did was my fog lights. Now for these, I didn't just change out the bulb, though you can, I decided to go with a full kind of like pod replacement. I went with the Baja Designs. We'll see if we'll get focus here, uh, but it's just the box, who cares really? Uh, these are 5,000K. They don't look 5,000K right now because I have the amber lenses on them. So the lenses are just the little front cover that you put on, you can put ambers or clears. Right now I have the ambers because I drive in snow. I'll probably switch these out to the clears uh, for spring, summer, fall. But ambers, uh, the light, that color, helps with contrast in snow. And I kinda thought maybe it was gimmicky, but I figured I would try it out uh, and see how it worked for me. And it actually adds a lot of contrast in the snow. So I live in Colorado at like 8,600 feet of elevation. So there's, I get a lot of snow out here. Uh, it melts off pretty quick, but then it comes back and it melts off and it comes back. So I'm driving a lot of snow and stuff. So the added contrast from this actually is very helpful and I really like it. Now to note about the Baja Designs lights for me anyway, they are kind of adjustable. It's a pain to get in there and change the housing. I mean, not a huge pain, but you gotta like take out the little wheel well cover kind of area and get back in there. And it's, it's relatively simple, but it's a little pain getting to it. So once you get to it, you can actually angle these bulbs to be down or straight. Right now I have them straight. And I wanted to try this out. So just to note, with these, they're way, way brighter than the stock fogs. So basically when I have them turned on, they're like my high beams, except they illuminate a whole wall of light. While my high beams are pretty straight and pretty far, these, just illuminate very wide, which I really, really like for my roads. Like I said before, there's all kinds of wildlife jumping across the street and stuff. And the more I can see, the wider I can see, the better. So these are great for off-road, but also for on-road. The thing for me that I have them aimed straight out rather than down, uh, they're shining in people's eyes big time. So I don't drive, I, I drive with these basically like I do with my high beams. I don't I don't have them on all the time, otherwise people will be flashing me all the time. I've left them on by accident a couple of times and have gotten flashed like instantly by the first car. So they're very, very bright. These are the uh, Squadron Sports. The pros are even brighter than these. So if you're looking for something even, oh, a moth just flew into my face. If you're looking for something even brighter than this, which I don't really think you need, uh, go for the pros, but if you just want a huge brightness upgrade, go for the sports. Now they have a couple different lenses on them as well that you can swap out if you want more projection down the road or more flood, more spill. Right now I have a wide angle or wide, wide cornering or something, and they basically provide the biggest wall of light, but they don't project as far as if you had some different lenses on. So that's kind of personal preference up to you. But I went with the really wide ones and right now I have the amber lenses in as you can see. All right guys, well that's it. I can only talk so much about light. I mean, I could actually probably talk for another 30 minutes about light, but I don't want this video to be too long. Uh, I'll probably be upgrading other light pieces in the future, light bars, things like that, but not yet. I figured kind of the most important upgrades were my headlights and my fog. So I did those. I kind of got those out of the way to begin with. And I'm really, really, really happy with the results so far. So there's a lot of different LED light bulb manufacturers out there. There's a lot of different uh, fog light manufacturers out there. This is what I went. I did a lot of research and I'm I'm really happy with my choices. So Baja Designs, awesome because they're a US company uh, made with mostly US sourced materials as well. I think some of their connectors and stuff are sourced from overseas just because that's how these things go. But great company, awesome company to support. And my headlight bulbs, Op7, I believe they're based out of California, uh, but made in China. And I tried to search around a little bit for an American made company uh, and couldn't really find anything. And that's just kind of, it is what it is there. All right, cool. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable at all, anything, uh, give me a thumbs up. Just take one second to hit that thumbs up button. Comment below if you have any questions about these lights, other lights, uh, and also let me know what kind of uh, future truck videos you'd like to see. I have, you know, a lot planned in the works, but always curious about your guys' feedback, what kind of videos you like to see on the channel, because, you know, I make these videos for you guys pretty much. Again, links, links to all this stuff uh, in the video description below. And thanks for watching. Take care.